Hello, my name is John Savage and I've been involved in the Museums Tell Stories programme along with the North Down Museum in Bangor. And during that time I came across this little book of tickets, um, a bargain book from Barry's Amusements way, way back. And it reminded me of a lot of things that happened when I was a child. Because when I was growing up in the 1950s, 1960s, we, we didn't have holidays. Um, no one I knew went on a holiday. But what we did have, we had a day away, and our days away were always to Bangor. Now, I was one of, of, of uh, four sons, so myself and my three brothers always looked forward to our day trip to Bangor. And it was with great excitement that, that we would run down with my father and mother to the bus station, jump on the bus, the old UTA bus, green and cream, uh, run up the stairs and sit on those hard, hard-packed seats upstairs. The, the seats with, with the heavy uh, embroidered covering stuffed with horsehair which stuck through the embroidery and, and, and jagged the back of your legs uh, because in those days all, all young boys all wore shorts so we all wore had our shorts but once we got to Bangor it was great delight we got off the bus and we run down down to the top of the main street and there before us stretching away out before us was the beach was the sea the sun was shining the sun always shone in those days and, and the sea was always blue but before we got to the beach we always had to call in to Woolworths we called in the Woolworths and we got, we got a bucket and spade to go down and dig on the beach. Well, the beach was where the, the marina car park is now in Bangor. And when we got there, of course, my mother, she unpacked the basket, which she had the flask with the teacups and all that with her and, and, and the rug. The picnic rug was always let out and it was always a red tartan, a Royal Stuart tartan, I think they called it. The, 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 it was always let out. Um, it was let out on the sand and then we proceeded to dig. Now, the interesting thing was that my father would tell us stories when we were there. He would tell us about, about the pirates and the Vikings who, who came to Bangor. And he said, you know, some of those men, they hid treasure. Why don't you dig for some treasure? Well, we would dig down with the buckets and spades and we found treasure. We, we never found any doubloons or, or pieces of eight, but what we did find was threepenny bits and sixpenny pieces. And I often wondered how my father knew where the treasure was actually buried because he hadn't been around when the Vikings were there, but there was always little bits of money hidden for us. And we would play there for a while, and then, of course, we'd sit and have a, a bit of a picnic. It was tea and maybe a bottle of lemonade, some buns. And then, of course, you couldn't go to Bangor then with, without going across to, to Barry's, Barry's Amusement Arcade. And that's where I came across this little book of tickets. Um, because Barry's was a fantastic place. You could go in there and you could spend all your pennies. You could go onto the, the slot machines uh, and you could, you could see the, the laughing policeman and the jolly sailor who's, who stood and oh, <laughs> we had all that. And then you could also rerun the Grand National when you put a penny in it and you wound your, your handle and your horse would go along. There was all sorts of, there was actually things which probably today wouldn't be allowed. You, you could put a penny in and see how they, they actually executed people in the United States and in France. You could see a guillotine, you could see the electric chair. And then there was the penny falls where you put a penny in and you watched your penny drop down and, and hope that it hit and pushed a few more pennies over. Sometimes if you were very crafty, you would try and nudge the machine for, for the pennies that were in there to fall out. But you had to be very, very careful of the real lady who ran around with the big bunch of keys hanging by her side that opened all those machines and the, the bus conductor's bag over her shoulder with lots and lots of pennies in it for anyone who wanted change to go on the machines or to go on the rides. But at the back of Barry's Amusements, it was even better because that's where the real fun was. Because they had the ghost train, they had the Helter Skelter, they had the dodging cars. The Helter Skelter, when you went up, you were given a, a coarse uh, coconut mat to come back down on. And we would come down round and round the Helter Skelter until you hit the bottom. It was good fun. Uh, the ghost train, as, as a young boy, it was quite scary at times because... You didn't know when, when the skeleton would jump out or when, when the spider's webs would be hanging down in front of your face to catch you as you went through. But the best of all for me was actually was the dodgems, the dodgem cars. But on the front of the dodgem car rides, there was a big sign that says no bumping. And I could never understand where the fun was. What's the point of going in the dodgem cars if you can't bump? But they were all from Barry's Amusements. It was a great place to go. And when I found this little box of, or this little uh, block of tickets I could see that even then it was six pence a ride but if you if you bought a book of six tickets you got for two and six which meant you were getting uh, one ride free it was a great place to go and the little lady who looked after the place while well, she was up and down 
Mrs. Delano, I think you call her, she was up and down making sure that, that everybody was behaving themselves and no one was misbehaving. Those were good days, long time ago. But we still went out to Bangor. You still went out and looked at the boats sailing in the bay. And no day to Bangor was ever complete without your fish and chips. My parents, they would have had fish and chips and my brothers and I, well, we would have had a big plate of chips and we would sit and eat the chips. Plenty of salt and plenty of vinegar on them. Nothing better than going to the seaside and having fish and chips. And then, of course, we would be very tired and probably have time to go home. Not before we were allowed to go and pick a souvenir, maybe a, a kite or a football or a cricket bat. Something like that to remind us of, of the days we went to Bangor. And then it was back up to the bus station, back onto that bus, sitting on the seats with the horse hair sticking through, jagging the back of your legs again. Holding in your hand your stick of rock, always brought a stick of rock back from Bangor, and they were happy, happy days. Those days are gone now. There's, there's no beach in Bangor, there's a marina car park. But isn't it great that you can go to a museum and you can pick up artifacts like that, which help you to recall those lovely memories that you had of childhood. And they are my memories of going to Bangor, all brought about because I found this little book of tickets from Barry's Amusements. Thank you.